Okay, today we are going to be making a chess table. Um, I'm, my son, he's been doing a lot of chess, so we're gonna make us a table. Um, and he's going to do most of the work. So this will be his first little project. So let's get started. First, we got to, I got all this uh, wood. I got some, let's see, some just regular pine. I got for the checkerboard, I got some pine and some walnut. I think those will look real nice when it's all together. So first things first, uh, we're gonna make this the squares at two and a quarter inches. And the boards I got are at two and a half inches. So we will start with cutting them down to two and a quarter inches. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. So turn it on. Okay, so those should be two and one quarter inches. Yes, it is. Okay, so that's our first board. Now, let's do the, get the other board. The walnut, right there. Okay. Okay, turn it on. quarter inches yeah. okay so there we go now what we're going to do is so we need to cut we there are 16 squares so we need to cut four links out of this and four links out of the pine uh, so each square being two and a quarter inches uh, the total width of the checkerboard will be 18 inches so we have to cut each of these into we need four 18 inch pieces of this and the pine and so we'll get set up and we will do that okay so now we have our our pieces that are width of two and a quarter inches now we need to cut them at 18 inches in length for each so we've got the miter saw set up and so we'll we'll uh, start cutting go ahead So we will cut three more on the pine and then we'll do three uh, or four on the walnut and be right back. Yeah. Okay, so here we have all of our cut pieces of wood. 
all 18 inches in length. And so what we're going to do, we got these and it's alternate colors. We're going to put glue on the edges of everything. And then we are going to put them together. I made this little jig on my workbench to make sure we get uh, everything nice and square. We'll put glue on, we'll put these together like so, and then we'll clamp it tight together. And then we'll have to let that dry. So we'll get started with that. Okay, so we put glue on each of the edges. So now we are going to lay them down. Push that up there. Okay, the next one. Okay. Okay, now I'll clean the extra glue up a little and then we'll clamp it together. Okay, so we put the glue on, uh, put them together. We have clamped it, cleaned up any excess glue, and then now we will just let it set. Uh, we'll probably wait till tomorrow. Uh, then we will cut this into two and a quarter sections going this way and then put it together in the same manner to make our checkerboard pattern for the chessboard. Okay, we'll carry on with this later. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why this, uh... Okay. So, do it again. See, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's eight. Yeah. Too short. <laughs> so yeah, that's why we had. Uh, and then. Yeah. And yeah. And there. And there. See. Okay, we got one more. I think we can. It says that I, according to the directions, I think we can cut this too.
You think we can sand this? Yeah, we'll sand that when we're all once once we're done, everything together, our whole thing together, then we'll sand it. Yeah. Okay, so what I want to do? I'm going to okay. make this a little bigger. So, okay, so there's these. That was easy. <laughs> so then we will, and when we glue these and clamp them, we'll make sure we get everything perfectly lined up. Okay, so I have put, we have put glue on each of the pieces. So now it's ready to put together. Okay, so we'll put them together like this so. Slide them up. It's okay, we'll get everything straightened once we get everything in place. Make sure everything's lined up good.
about it. So we will make sure everything is lined up, all the squares just perfectly. Right like so. Everything I think looks perfect right there. So just a little bit. Uh, okay, that looks lined up very well. He just want to get make sure it's all perfect now before we, because we it's hard to undo it afterwards. Oh, and one thing I remembered I should mention, when you're cutting your strips the first time, cut them in bigger than the length you're going to need. Because these, if this is 18 inches, that first set, cut more than the 18 inches. Be say Just say an inch more, 19. Because remember, when you're going to cut the strips again, you're going to lose a blade width each time you make a cut. So... Then the final piece, this was the final piece is too small. So make sure you have, make it just a little bit bigger than you need. Okay, so we'll get this clamped together, clean up the loose glue, and let it set overnight. Okay, so we're back. We got everything glued together. Now we took the clamps off. So now we're going to put a border around this. And I want to go with this uh, oak. So we're going to cut the pieces to size to make a border all the way around. And then we will glue and probably nail them into place. So I'll get to cutting the pieces of wood to size. Okay, so we cut the, uh, the uh, pieces for the border we're going to put on it. Um, so what we're going to do... Put some glue on, on it. We're going to put the glue on. And then we're going to throw a couple small nails in to hold it in place. Okay? So let's do that. So you come on this side. Are you, are you going to like tilt it a little? Yeah. Okay. okay. There's this. Just I get it. Okay. Throw a nail over here. Right in there. In the white one? Yeah, make sure it's straight. Okay, now over here. Okay. I'll try and do it in the middle, sort of, of the board. No, I mean, like here, but in the middle of the board. Okay. Okay, now one over here. that sound good. Now we will do it with the other side. So we'll just do that on all the other four sides. Yeah. Okay so here's the chest board so far. We got the chest board. Uh, this is what we put on last. This little border made out of oak. And now we're going to put a bigger border around it because it is a table and when you take the chest pieces off you'll need somewhere to put them so uh, we're going to put this uh, other border around here it's a uh, using one by three pine and so we already cut two piece, three pieces with two ends and there's another one and so now we're going to cut the last piece on our table saw Right here. So, and then the 
this one here. Okay, so there it is. That's how it uh, will look with all our pieces cut. So now we will get them glued on and clamped. And then we'll have to just sit and let that dry. Okay. Okay, so we cut all our borders. We glued them on. We clamped them, let them dry. And then what we did, just to make it a little more secure, on the back, I did a quarter inch piece of just plywood and attached it. I put on with glue and then little uh, brad nails. And I made sure they were three quarter inch brad nails, enough that would not come through the wood. Okay, so that's where we have, we have it pretty much made right now. So now the next thing we'll do is sand it down. We'll do a router around the edge to round that off. And then the top part will be done. And we can get on to the bottom part of it, of the table. Okay. Okay, so we have our table, got it all, everything glued together, and we just finished sanding it, so it's all nice and smooth. So now we're gonna use the router and round off the edges. Okay, Alex, go ahead and... Don't hold it against it when you turn it on. Like this? Okay, turn it on. Can you... Don't hold it against it yet. Okay, so uh, basically the other side is finished. We put our, uh, sanded it all down. We routed the edge. So now we're gonna start making the table part, the bottom. So I cut, we cut these and I'll attach these to the bottom and I'm leaving this side open. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, we're gonna make a drawer on it. So I'll make, We'll probably put two small pieces here and here and leave a spot open. Put a couple boards down here so that I can make uh, where the drawer will go. So that's what we'll do now. We'll put these on. Now we'll put some little, put a little glue on the bottom side and put some brackets to hold them in place. Okay, so now that we're starting to work on the underneath of our table, uh, we're going to put a drawer in it. So, I already cut the pieces out to build our drawer box, and it's pretty simple. This pre-finished maple plywood we're using, um, I have it 12 inches by 20 inches, or it's only 13 inches by 20 inches. So, that means you uh, cut the base one inch smaller than your planned size of the drawer is because the half inch plywood on either end. And then you would make it an inch narrower than the opening you're gonna put it in to uh, to uh, handle the slides on the side of the drawer. Yeah, here's our drawer box. Uh, we're going to put some glue on the edges and then put it in, nail it together. Okay, so very simple box and we'll get to putting it together. Okay, so here's the uh, drawer box I made. Very simple, that'll work. And then, so here's the bottom of the table. 
I, we put this around the outside. So I'm gonna put these boards on half an inch clearance on either side of the drawer box because that's what the door slides drawer slides are going to go on so i've marked where they need to go and so i'll just put these put these boards on there and then i will put the slides and we'll have a, a drawer okay here we go okay so we finished up the drawer and installed the drawer slide. So now we got this drawer on there. Um, put some legs on that we bought at, pre-made at Home Depot. And then, so now I'll, we put numbers, the numbers on the board or the corresponding squares. And so now all we have left to do is we're going to finish it. Put some finish on it, make it a nice clear finish so it'll protect it and then it'll all be done. And there's our chest table.